<laughs> I'm at Mel's house. I'm like, let me stop at Melanie's. It is Harvest Fest. First and foremost, SMB bills came back. And I'm letting y'all know right now, if they cannot pay residential rental rent, I'm taking it out my game. Because without that, they can pay rent. And I'm so tired of going through the back and forth with them not being able to pay rent when bills is in. So I'm really hoping that that is going to be settled in this new update. If not, I'm going to have to take it out because they can absolutely pay rent without SMB bills. Anyways, I don't know why I just told you that. That was so fucking random. Anyways, Roy is outside and I just was not prepared. <laughs> I was not prepared for this. Like it's Harvest Fest. He's sitting outside. Uh, where is Chariot? How did you get away from Chariot and your daughter with her? This is very interesting. Yasmin is going to ask him to pick her up. Hopefully she will be able to let him in and he will come in and him and Mel will have a conversation. I'm hoping. Okay, I'm hoping that Mel can come outside. Oh my God, this is going to be so interesting because I even have it saved right here. Woohoo with Roy. Like she wants to do that. Like sis, do you have any idea what the fuck is going on? Do you know he lives like uh, three minutes away? A drive, a three minute drive away playing house with Chariot and their new baby that you probably don't know about baby like can she invite him in look they're still labeled as soulmates like it's psychotic to me i don't even understand it relationship y'all know i'm gonna dig into this baby create a relationship label learn more okay so this is when she can ask him about attraction style and all of that view relationship engaged melanie cheated on roy and maybe because maybe she's punishing herself because we all know if you've been keeping up if you're new here you might not know but go back and binge the rest of the episodes melanie used to sell cat not gonna judge her for it all right we don't really judge her for it but you know that's what she used to do to get by in college so that's why this is here melanie cheated on roy because essentially she did roy didn't mind her doing that uh and i guess probably because he was obviously clearly doing him all right can you invite him in please because i cannot wait to see how this unfolds i was not prepared to record this but i'm like oh he's at the door we got to record this there's nothing that says invite in maybe he will just come in oh <laughs> that was so cute okay he did go in all right i'm like is he gonna just walk in interesting are you gonna get some food boy where is he going with her so this is going to sound crazy. I know we're friends and all, but well, okay, here it goes. I have a crush on you. Pooh, okay, it's out there. Mind you, I did just see her yesterday walking past Melanie's house, like looking at her house. Weird. Um, so would you want to go out with me sometime? You're super cool. I really want to hang out with you more. Question mark. <sighs> Let's just be friends, bro. I like <sighs> Oh, sure. No worries. Let's just pretend this never happened. Okay. Sure. Oh, yeah, not a problem. Um, yeah, let's get the fucking chatting. Because maybe Roy will tell her something. Maybe he'll bring something up. Guys over here eating a meal like real quick. Real the fuck fucking the fuck quick. Roy, where is your motherfucking other fiance? your new baby mom your baby mom that's not too far from this baby mom your baby mom that's actually her baby is only a couple months younger than this baby where is she because like i'm very confused how you're just over here on one of the biggest holidays just sitting here having dinner like she's not looking for you it's six o'clock uh, i'm just i'm floored 
what's going to happen here? Paternity testing? Pretty sure there's no need to do that. Relationship? I'm not going to have her ass to join household because there's no reason for her to do that. Like, let me tell y'all, as many times as I have been in this house with Melanie and Roy, like I've been at Melanie's house, I've been at Roy's house. Not one of them have been like, yeah, let's take this to the next level and really actually get married, one, and let's move in together. Like, no one has offered that up. So they've just been here doing whatever the hell they've been doing. Ask about romantic interests. Ask about woohoo interests. And then let's say learn more. Ask about chemistry together. Ask about personality turn on and turn offs. Now, mind you, I don't think I did this for Roy, for Roy. So I don't know really what his are or what hers are. So I may have to like set them for them before they can even get into this type of conversation. Oh, Guy is over here living a double the fuck fucking life. And you know what, Roy, this is why I don't fuck with you. When you was at Empress's wedding, this is why I didn't fuck with you. Simona Cero, Aveline. Look, yes, you can, uh, no melody. Renique was sore. Are you full, mama? <laughs> yeah, you're starting to play around with it. You might be. Guys over here playing house. I fucking know. Guys over here really playing house and, and stopping by. Like... This is my issue. Like, Mel, I really think you got this little motherfucker comfortable with showing up and saying hi and stopping by. Like, fuck no. This is where my beef is at because she just loves him so much. Like, oh my God, I hate it. I literally hate it. Rina. <laughs> she does need a tablet bad let's do that okay the baby's crying oh, been oh. Oh. he's downstairs on that goddamn game like i want her to initiate some stuff with roy but i kind of don't want her to no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am potty train her y'all real quick for everyone who has seen the last episode, is this not what this motherfucker did? Did he not come to the crib, lay up on the bed, take a nap, turn the TV on like this? He literally did this exact thing. Like, Mel created this monster, bro. She really did. Like, Roy, you don't want to talk to your other daughter? Yeah, you're looking at her, but do you want to talk to her? She's tired too. Look, look at him. I really should get going. Thanks for hanging out with me. Guy literally just comes over here to make it seem like. No, ma'am, you're going right to bed, Buki butt. Guy came over here and did nothing. Remember, I said, to me, he's choosing Chariot. Like, to me, that's what he's doing because, like, as many times as I've played in Melanie's house, and he's come over here or I've sent him to Melanie's house. He has never taken it upon himself. He, he'll come over here. He'll lay up. He'll he'll cuddle with her. He'll have sex with her. He'll eat her fucking food. And then he be out. Like he does this every time. Like he's constantly doing this. <laughs> and then Melanie be here with her two kids by herself. Like, yeah, now she got to clean this house. She got vacuum. She got to then clean this out. Yup, I knew you was coming. That's why I'm on your ass. Because I knew you was coming, y'all. He just came in, said hi, hung out, happy fucking Harvest Fest, and left. Guy went back home to Ch Chariot, his other fiance. Like, and listen, it's one thing if everybody knows about everybody. And everybody's actually okay with it. That's one thing. It's another thing for everything to be hidden. And that's what's going on here. And I ain't fucking with it. I did not expect to record shit. You understand? I turned this shit on and he was right there at the door. I said, oh my God, record. <laughs> yeah, she's exhausted. And I think she has to work tomorrow. Yep.
working 14 hours i know now it's all about cleaning every fucking thing up it just irks me look left his plate there and everything like mel i'm gonna have luna have her come out with luna or something like that's gonna have to happen because this is out of pocket and luna's gonna be the one to be like i'm not luna uh leah is gonna be the one to be like yeah absolutely not nope We'll worry about that later. Just vacuum the floor. I'm going to try to get her to do up here, but I swear to God, they can never do it. Like anytime I have her vacuum up here, it just, it never gets vacuumed. But when I go to somebody else's house, they can vacuum it. It's weird as fuck. I did not tell you to vacuum right there, girl. I told you to vacuum right here. See, see how downstairs it would be like, -da! like it would just clean right up. For whatever reason up there, it don't do it. I don't know why. I'm gonna have to go to somebody else's house and get them to do it. Cause it's gonna bother me and she can use and then she can go to bed i don't know what it is it just will not pick up up here i was gonna say she should have got some good sleep all right she needs an appointment with the psychiatrist she had a good little holiday <laughs> she had a good little holiday put her out here like this teleport here go to preschool and that's it she maxed out potty okay girlfriend she's just learning away i really want a deep indigo to charge for preschool because the way they learn all these skills a lot of preschoolers don't you know what i mean and when they learn skills like this they end up um learning skills or gaining skills when they turn to a child so when they come into childhood they already have like two or three of each skill when they max out skills as a toddler like this and I was telling, I was saying in my mod video, I'm like, I don't think that that's re very realistic. So I feel like this preschool that a deep indigo has, there should be a charge for it. I feel like parents should be paying like every other week to $300, $1,000, something like that. It should be like a preschool charge. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I know, Mel. I'm trying to get you on your way, Gra. Baby, gonna have to cry sometimes. That's just the reality of it. I think that jean jacket looks different since DirectX 11. Roy really came in there, was like, hey, just seeing how you're doing. All right, bye. Like, all right, Mel, you can come downstairs and because baby is sleeping. That's great. You can come downstairs and actually get a smoothie because that's all you really got time for. Aren't you wit? Think about it for yourself, funny. Open? Uh, oh, please, Sonoba. Uh. And it's gonna bring up her hunger and her energy watch. Boom, fun too. Look at that. We getting out the door for work and having something healthy at the same time. She was thinking about Jasmine just now. That's one of her close friends and Jasmine was there for her birth. Y'all know that when she damn near died and Rory left her there. <sighs> uh -huh. Why? Why when there's a sink right there? I know. Never mind. Never fucking damn mind. What time she got to be at work? 12 o'clock? Yep. Didn't I say that's all she would have time for? I wish she could actually, these garage doors actually work. She could just come out the garage door. What, Ricky? Are you always this deceitful or am I just lucky? So for those who don't know, Melanie had this little thing with Ricky when she was selling cat. And Ricky was one of her clients. So now he says little like smart shit in text messages, but I feel like he's like looking for some sort of response. So sometimes she doesn't even respond. That really hurt my feelings. Okay, doesn't matter. Bye, Ricky. And by the way, Ricky is Roy's best friend's son. So Ricky that y'all just saw, yep. Ricky Santiago. This is Ricky Santiago Jr. His dad, Ricky Santiago, and Roy were best friends, but his dad died. So it's like Roy, Ricky is like Roy's oh, nephew, yes. damn near. 
And you know what else you're going to do. Well, I'm not going to have her do it just yet. I'm going to see if the bills work. Let me say again on here. So I'm really hoping that that's going to like fix because I do want to play with SMB <laughs> bills because I want her to also apply for child support right here. Government benefits, child support, and she can apply for child support. So it's like I want her to do that. She don't really have to, but I do want her to do that. You know what I mean? When she finds out that Roy is actually, Ooh, you know with chariot i want her to do that so i haven't seen yet whether the bills work i'll come back after i try that oh my god y'all have no idea how late this is but i've been troubleshooting smb bills because i'm so tired of the drama with smb bills in my residential rental but now it works so leah is here to talk to mel because she can't take what she saw at empress's wedding as you can see it's snowing and it was the fall when empress got married and now it is or it was like i think it was the last day of summer when empress got married so it is now the first day of winter and leah cannot take any more that mel does not know that roy is engaged to chariot i mean roy was only at the wedding because he's engaged to chariot and we all know Chariot is Empress's cousin. So that's why she was there. That's why Roy was there. Everybody saw them together, kissing, playing family. Chariot has a whole daughter. Everybody knows this. Except Mel. So Leah was like, I can't take it. I'm showing up, catching her before she goes to work and letting her know about this. So let's see how this goes. Right now, Mel is about to ask Leah to be her sim of honor, baby. <laughs> and I'm gonna try to get Leah to tell her after she asks her that. Ah, oh, you bar! Mescador! <laughs> Fella balloon. Nah, Misa. Hoo-hoo, <laughs> harpoon. So Leah's like, sure, of course I'll be your sim of honor. Of course I will, but there's kind of something you need to know there it is Warpa? you bins uh-huh uh yes she likes discussing hobbies oh shay be bully ebony darfa you know sneeb hispa oh. uh, child. <laughs> Oh my God, Mel, just take the day. Take the day today, girl. Take the motherfucking day. Take the day. Because what really made me do this is looking at rent and now rent can be paid. Okay, like now rent can be paid. So when I look at Mel, because y'all before, I was just literally hitting this shit with like, what is it, um, auto pay? And it would leave them like, cool so that they're not getting evicted and shit like that but the money was never coming out <laughs> they was never really paying rent so now the rent is kicking in and mel's rent per day is 7500 she got this big old house thinking roy was gonna come live here and <laughs> she's now finding out that he has this baby and he's engaged to chariot or he's at least with chariot but from what she understands because what leah understands is that he's engaged to chariot because obviously if they're at a wedding talking about things she's going to show off her rock and how they got engaged and mel is like how the fuck we're engaged so how the fuck like she don't give a fuck oh my god she still don't care <gasps> i did not expect this hold on <laughs> y'all she didn't care oh my god it went nowhere it went nowhere it went nowhere that was supposed to tear her shit up for roy it went nowhere Go to the doctor now, I guess. Go with Hassan. Yeah, her and Hassan still have to get married if that's what they're going to do. So she done exposed him. And what just happened? Literally the fuck nothing. Like she... <laughs> that did not go the way I thought it was going to go. 
nothing happened. She still wants to be with Roy. Well, that was a buzz. <laughs> Maybe she needs to see it for herself. I don't know. Maybe she needs to go and catch it. And I think Leah might be on some shit of like, I'm not telling you this anymore. Like, this is my last time kind of holding you down with this. I watched you damn near die giving birth to Mackenzie and he left you there. He literally left you there. I watched you damn near die. You fought for your life and then you stayed in the hospital for days on end after getting a C-section because you almost died. Now I'm telling you that he was at kind of like my family's wedding. Like I only got invited because Hassan is kind of cool with Eros. So that's the only reason why Leah was there. But her sister obviously is engaged to Empress's brother. So she's going to be there. They're all there. They're talking. And that's how she finds out that Cherry and Roy are together. She's like, wait. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I'm positive I'm not hearing that right. Roy sees Leah and is, is trying to duck around her. He's over there trying to keep talking to Empress. He, like, y'all remember in the wedding, he was far away from Chariot. You hardly saw him with Chariot. But Chariot's going around bragging about her new relationship. She has no fucking clue. I know. My whole thing is, is when do people interfere? And that that's what Leah did today. Like, she's like, I'm not doing this no more. I saw him there with someone else. Meanwhile, you're here taking care of two kids by yourself, paying this expensive ass rent. And I saw him there. Like, you set all this up. You went and got you an SUV. You went and did everything you needed to do in order for y'all to move forward. And here, he still... I feel like I have to mod this back into the game because I don't think it's going to work. But it's like he, you you went and did all this to prepare for y'all life together and he shitting on you. So I'm just here to tell you that. And I think Leah's kind of like, and I'm not telling you again. Like, that's kind of it for me. Like, <laughs> take it or leave it. I'm pretty much done from this point forward. Yeah, I feel like Leah's kind of like, I did my job. I feel good about what I did today. That's it. And that's all. I'm not going to keep telling you this. So if you want to stay with him, you can stay with him. But I'm kind of out. I don't blame you, Leah. I don't blame you, girl. I really don't. Where are you at, Mel? That did nothing. That That just did not go the way I expected it to go. All right. Well, never mind. <laughs>